Hello there and welcome to another video. Uh, today we're going to cover some basics of Unity 3D in 4.3. We're just going to go through a quick introduction of the Unity IDE and we're going to focus on building for Windows 8 and Windows Phone 8. This is a supplementary video for my blog tutorial series. The link to the, the post will be below and the focus in the, the the post that's related to this video was building the project that we're going to take a look at. It's an extremely simple project because the aim was to make it easy for people to use. So if you've already used Unity before, then this is probably not for you. But for people that want to look at building for Windows 8 and Windows Phone 8, hopefully this can help you out anyway. So we're going to jump over into the Unity IDE. So I have this project that we've already built. And I have a stick man that I can move around on the screen. And he should be moving to where I click. Now I do have a problem. I have not made the change to my move speed. So let me just do that. So if I click now, you'll see he moves towards the mouse. And he's a bit jittery. Um, this will be as the, the update cycles go faster and slower. We're not going to worry too much about best coding practices for now. Basically, the idea behind this was get something that you've built from scratch yourself, which you can interact with, and then build it. So we're going to jump straight in to building this project for Windows 8 and Windows Phone 8. So first things, we're going to go build settings, we're going to go Windows Phone 8, and we're going to click build. And we're going to need to make a folder here, folder here. I'm just going to call it underscore build, and a new folder in here, WP8. Okay, that's the folder we're going to select, and I was silly, I didn't add the scene, so I'm going to have to rebuild this quickly. And I will be right back once I've added the scene and done the rebuild, because it'll take a second. And we're back. So the the build is complete, and you'll see we get a Windows, or not a Windows, a Microsoft Visual Studio project. And this project opens up very nicely in Visual Studio 2012. And it'll take a little moment for preparing the solution. Let me just close that. And we're going to choose to run it on an emulator. And I think I'm going to go for the WVGA. And we can run it. And it's as simple as that. We will have this project up and running on our Windows Phone devices in no time. And you can do this with your existing project. You will need to do changes to the camera, as well as possibly some of the input things that you use. But for now, we're just going to use a simple emulator with this very simple project to show that it's easy to get set up and building on Windows Phone. This is without any added code, any changes to anything, and I will have it up and running here in no time. So it's busy deploying the application, and we should momentarily see it launch. So this is one of the cool things with Unity at the moment, is the fact that you get multiple platforms to use out of the box. You don't need to be, uh, buy any modules, you don't need to spend any extra money, you don't need anything further than the fact that, that the free version of Unity can already deploy to these platforms. So here we go, and we should, in a very, very short moment, see my Unity game. Now, it's always slightly slower on the very first run to get everything up and going because the Visual Studio project will first download debugging symbols before continuing. So, very nice, powered by Unity snapshot, and if we tap on the screen, it's exactly like it's a mouse click and our guy moves around. So that was pretty simple and easy to do. And we can now stop this and go back to Unity. So if we head back into Unity, we want to now do a Windows Store app. And we still got our scene added, which I forgot earlier. 
but we can build. And a really cool thing is we can choose between 8 and 8.1, but we will leave it on 8 for now. And if we go build, we're going to do the same thing where we choose a directory. I'm going to call this W8. And we're going to select the folder. And it will do the same project creation. And I will be right back as soon as that is done. And we are back. So if we take a look here, we now have our Windows 8 folder with its own project. So this is a separate project to the previous one. And if I try to run this immediately, it will not run unless you are on an ARM device. And I'll just show this to you quickly. Essentially, the Unity project builder that builds the project for Visual Studio defaults to an ARM build. But this won't run on your machine. For instance, I'm on a 64-bit machine in this case, and it'll give me an error. So there were deployment errors. See, registration of app failed. It cannot use it because it requires ARM, but this computer is x64. So this is very, very easy to fix. And all we're going to do is build configuration manager. And we don't need to change anything except we're going to change the platform to x86 from the Active Solution platform and the platform. And if we close that and run it, you'll see we'll have the same delay right at the beginning where it downloads the symbols for debugging. But when it opens up, we will have our full Unity game running inside our Windows 8 store environment. And while this is getting ready, you'll note that we are running things inside a C Sharp project where things get loaded uh, through through the C Sharp itself. So there's a, a, a layer in between Unity and the WinRT framework that will allow us to run these apps on the WinRT framework. So there we go. We have our launch. And after a moment, once everything has loaded for the first time and done its thing, we will find that we have our little man inside of our scene and that we can move him around. Any second. So yeah, essentially a lot of things that you can do in Unity are really good for you and there are a lot of people out there with games that would fit onto these platforms and that could benefit from being on these platforms and all that they lack is the the fact that it's not something that they've tried before or they just aren't willing to try it for themselves and you can do these builds in that that I've been doing with the express versions of Visual Studio which are free and very similarly, it is now 19 US dollars for a year subscription for developing and publishing to the Windows Store. And that is Windows 8 as well as Windows Phone 8. Um, one thing I have noticed is on the first run, uh, I don't know if it happens and runs afterwards, is the screen does go grey. Yeah, and you might not realize why, but if we go look at Visual Studio, you'll notice that it's loading symbols. And uh, this this will take a while, and I just prefer to have all the symbols, which is why I let it run. But as soon as this is done, the game will be visible again. So I'm going to just snap that to the side and have my desktop here so we can watch that as soon as it's done, you can see that it comes up. And once again, we will just wait for a short amount of time, and hopefully this will be done. And all of the, all of the symbol loading and getting of libraries and DLLs, that only has to happen the first time. So here we go. The Unity player defaults to putting everything stretched into the window area, which can be great or bad, depending on how you look at it. And here we go, if I move my sprite around by clicking, it does exactly what we thought it was. So I very, very quickly have something up and running and deploying to both platforms. And it was 
so easy that there's absolutely no reason for me to not use Unity on these platforms being a developer for the platforms already. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'd like to remind you that you can find more information and contact me through ErnestLoveland.co.za and there are links in the description below. Bye bye.